today we're on Main Street Watrous and we are at the 25th annual Watrous Fun Run. For 24 years we've had sun and shine. Beautiful hot day. Everybody plans for the hottest day in Watrous on Fun Run Day. Today is the 25th annual and it is raining considerably. But as you see, we've got lots of cars, lots of people, and uh, we're very thankful everything turned out as it did here. I do all the mechanical work, all put together. Somebody else does the painting and the body work, and I do the mechanical part. So is this a hobby that you plan on continuing? As long as I keep living, I will. <laughs> The history of the Watchers Fun Run started 25 years ago as an initiative from the local Chamber of Commerce to put together a car show to bring out people to Watchers and to have an attraction that people can come to on an annual event and just to show off our community and everything and the awesome weather that we have here as a rule. So uh, it was all about bringing people to Watchers and promoting small business and local business. Uh, one of the main attractions I guess of the Watchers Car Show is all of the awesome vehicles that we get out here and uh, people travel a long distance. We've got a fellow here from Townsend, Ontario. We've got BC, Alberta. Uh, people that come here consistently year after year and people that make it a destination point to come. Uh, we also have people that, uh, first timers here, just through word of mouth and come out for the event. Obviously we shut down Main Street and uh, do it right on there to try and attract business to the street. And uh, it's just a nice way to do it. We've got lots of family activities happening. We tried to have stuff for the families to do so dad or mom can look at the cars and there's stuff for the kids to do. So we've had Sask Agility Dogs, we've had uh, Astro Jump here, we've got face painting, Beeper the Clown, different kids entertainers and some years we have mascots. And it just all depends. We've always got something for everybody. There you go. Big smile. Yes. All right, that's a winner smile. We race all over. We go a lot into Saskatchewan, Yorkton, Swift Current, Saskatoon. We also go down to Malta, Montana, Minot, North Dakota. And it's just a matter of just racing what you have and just going having fun. I know I have beautiful. Pink and yellow color So what's your name? Destiny. And do you race? I don't race. Are you just a technical person? I'm the tech person. <laughs> And how long have you been racing? This is my second year. What do you think of it? It's fun. It's something different. What's the best part? Going fast. <laughs> <laughs> we do modified tractor pulling across the province and into Alberta, Manitoba. Uh, Boss Blue has been in, what, 40 some states plus Hawaii. This chassis was one of the original first modified tractors in Saskatchewan with a supercharged engine. I acquired it back about 2005 or 6, and we spent an awful lot of hours refurbishing it to today's safety rules and standards. And for the last five years, we've been all over the place pulling and having a lot of fun. We've got cars, trucks, just different rare vehicles, convertibles, hardtops, a little bit of everything. This year, obviously, we've got two electric vehicles. We have a local fellow that owns Watcher's Bakery here, Ray and Marla Suik. They've got a Volt. And uh, we've also got an electric Tesla here, which has been here for the first time, which is just amazing. I'm a volunteer with Sun Country Highway. I do renewable energy, so production of power through the sun and things like that. So this is a Tesla Model S. This is a 2012, the first year of the Model S. This car gets 430 kilometers for less than $10 worth of power. Uh, they think it's neat, especially when I pop the frunk and there's no motor and all my luggage is in there. So this here is the Chevy Volt. It's a, it's a, a plug-in extended range. So what that means is you're running off the battery pack all the time. Your first 60 to 70 kilometers are 100% electric. Then your gas motor will start up to top up the battery pack. So you are always running on pure electric. It just has, a, it just for people who have range anxiety or travel a greater distance and don't want to stop and plug in and uh, see communities. This car show was started originally by the Watchers Chamber of Commerce along with the Coachman Car Club out of Saskatoon. The Coachman came out and showed uh, our town how to run a car show, set it up, do the advertising, the posters, that sort of thing. So we uh, owe it deeply to the Saskatoon Coachman Car Club for setting us up with the car show and getting things rolling for us. So we do appreciate that very much. Welcome to Watchers! Why, why, were you so, why were you so interested in the trike? In the trike? Well, when I was born, I was born with one leg missing and I wasn't comfortable on a two-wheel motorcycle. 
so I went to the trikes. And uh, back in 1977, I saw these trikes in a uh, motorcycle magazine. I figured I gotta have one. So I, we flew down to California and uh, unfortunately they were $10,000 at that time. And I didn't have that kind of money. So came back to Saskatoon. I just put the word out that I was looking for a trike. And a guy from Regina got a hold of me with this one. And uh, he had brought it up a couple of years before, done some work to it, and he wanted to sell it. So I bought it from him for $5,000 back in 1978. Well, these cars, a lot of these people, because they drove these cars here, they probably gathered themselves 15 or 20 hours of cleanup because a lot of these cars are as clean underneath in the engine compartments as they are on the top. So these are a huge project to commit to bringing them out in the rain because they are a huge project to clean up after the fact. So you really got to uh, thank the participants, take your hat off to them for putting up with the rain and supporting a car show like this under the circumstances. That's what it's all about, it's having fun, rain or shine, it's all good. I never thought that we would get rained out, honestly. I'm the most optimistic person around and uh, when the thunder strike boom woke me up this morning at 6.15, I kind of thought, I guess we might have rain. I never thought it would rain and I never thought we would have this kind of a turnout on a rainy day. So I really thank all the car show participants phenomenal that you came out and supported us today. I love it and I can't wait to come back. Uh, you know, 25 years is, is a long time for a community to be doing something like this and it's amazing to see this many people and vehicles in this type of weather come out. You know, it's, it's empowering. It, it shows that, you know, there's real enthusiasts out there and it uh, doesn't matter what the climate brings, we're, we're coming out to get together. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.